Hello guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we are looking at a recent war between the, uh, LP4, Hades, and Cody Mary, however you pronounce that. And I'm in the position where I'm at Donald 12, and we have, I think we have three or four attacks left. They have a couple of attacks left as well. And we are, I think, tied is the score at the moment from what I gathered. And this is the first base I chose. So, here's the army. Uh, Queen Charge, Miners. And we'll just grab a CC. SP Hogs Rage is the sort of default CC for Queen Charge Miners at the moment because you really want that extra funneling power of having an extra P.E.K.K.A. and 12 wizards, so it's really powerful. So the plan is to Queen Charge from 9 o'clock over to the entry point by the Archer Tower at, um, well, 10 o'clock. Wall Break there with a freeze on the Inferno to help the Wall Breakers get in. And then the Queen has access to the Eagle Artillery, the Town Hall, and the Enemy Queen and the Inferno Tower. And then from that point, if we get the Town Hall, then you have the Miners coming in from 6 o'clock. And if we don't have, if we don't, if the Queen doesn't route towards the Town Hall, then we would take the Miners and go straight for the Town Hall. Obviously then, for the Funnel, we would have the Wizards and the Baby Dragon for the Queen. And we have the King and the Stone, or Siege Barracks for the Miners. Usually on these Queen Charge Minor attacks, you want to start with a King in, like, around the same area where you start your Miner, so he's the initial funnel. And then you have the Siege Barracks on the, sort of like, between where the Miners start and where the Miners finish. So on this base, on this attack, if we get the Town Hall, it would be, uh, whether or not we get the Town Hall, uh, the middle between where the Miners start and where they finish would be at 3 o'clock. So here's the start. Baby Dragon and Loon. Uh, Loon for any Seeking Air Mines. Queen dropped on the uh, Spell Factory and Lix Storage. She'll eventually funnel herself into the middle. Two Wizards to help her do that because I was hoping my Baby Dragon would get the Siege Barracks, but he didn't, so a little bit of a risk to let the Queen. Uh, go out of her way to take that out. So I dropped two wizards there instead. Freeze and Rage and Wall Breakers for the Wall Break. A little bit scared that the Wall Breakers might get targeted by something, so decided to go with that. I have to freeze the. Um, I have to freeze the air defense because it's taking out a lot of my healers. So since I only have, I think, three healers at this point, my queen is not going to survive very long. And the Queen, at this point, decides to go away from the Town Hall. So we're getting the Eagle instead of the Town Hall, which is fine. I can go with either one. And now and engaging the enemy Queen means that we have to pop the Royal ability because we don't have any free spells left. Queen activates the Tornado Trap, which is quite good. And since we didn't get the Town Hall, we're going to have the uh, Siege Barracks coming in from the right side of the base. So I, I told you how the default setting is with the King and the Siege Barracks, but at this point I really wanted to get them both down early, and since there were a lot of trash buildings at 12 o'clock, then the Hog Riders coming out of the Siege Barracks, which is why you want to place it um, towards the middle between where the Miners start and where they finish, is because of the Hogs. But since the Miners were going straight to the core, then the Hogs going... Uh, Trying to attack the outside defense has really helped. So Miners in the core. And I have an extra rage spell because my healers dropped, so didn't need it for my queen. Or didn't want it for my queen. Was rather. So it looks like we're ending on an Inferno Tower and a Tesla Farm. And we have 27 spectators at the moment. So that tells you how important of a raid this was in the war. In the context of the war. 
So we still have the king up and a bunch of miners. 29 seconds is plenty to take out the rest of those space. So there we go. And we still have the P.E.K.K.A. too. Yep, so plenty of cleanup troops and two heroes remaining. Means that we're gonna get this triple. And we're off to a good start this war. So that puts us at 130 to 130. And we have the... Um, the advantage and there's all the uh the celebrations in the chat so if you were wondering what a clan chat looks like it's kind of it so at this point we have secured the war win uh because i think a couple of attacks went in while i was going in so and obviously they failed so now cutting to the next attack we're also going to do a queen charge minor attack on this one So here's the plan. We're going to do actually more wall breakers than we did in the last time. We're going to do two layers over at 2 o'clock. So starting at the, starting with the queen around the mortar area, and we're going to have two sets of wall breakers. So the first set is going to go on the gold mine, and second set by the single inferno. So since it's a single, uh, I may or may not use a free spell. Because uh, any reason to have a free spell is that maybe the expo isn't quite locked onto the enemy queen. So otherwise I could just drop all, I think I went with 9 or 10 wall breakers into that area. So then that would be enough to take out the wall, no problem. Whether or not um, any of them died. As long as there's not like too many small bombs in there. As long as I'm caref careful at least. So here we go. Starting with the queen. And we're going to break that funnel with some uh, loons on the archer tower. They don't quite get it, so it's a little bit scary at this point. Because the queen could go to the elixir storage, but instead she goes for the wall break, uh, warden right behind the walls. And now we have three layers of walls open with the Rage Spell and the uh, Wall Breakers. The only downside is that I used two Rage Spells there, so that's not exactly ideal. But it's probably fine since there's not too much damage in this area, just the enemy queen. And we can freeze her pretty quickly. So at this point we have the... we have an Inferno and the Eagle Artillery down. And we have a good path to the town hall. So we drop the miners at 12, and they'll eventually pat themselves into the core of the base, along with um, the siege barracks and the king were placed on the left side. Since the miners are going from 12 to 9 to 6, then we should drop the cleanup slash um, siege barracks on the left side, the funnel slash siege barracks on the left side. So there we go with the Warden ability covering pretty much everything. So that's a really powerful Warden ability. Right after that, a heal spell to make sure everything's at full health. And another Rage spell for the Miners because uh, didn't really need them on the Queen. And Queen already had, uh, still has ability. And she didn't have to deal with too much um, damage over time. So here we are with a minute and 12 seconds left, and pretty much all my miners left, and a couple of hogs, and all three heroes, so... Yeah, that was a pretty good raid. It went exactly to plan. So, um, I hope that you can use this strategy as well. So, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.